Following the national consultation on steel bands at the Shagaramas Convention Center in January, Cabinet reached a number of decisions to carry out recommendations of the consultation. These decisions were the employment of pan tuners, the training of individual steel bandsmen in music, employment opportunities for steel bandsmen, and residential courses in business administration for steel bandsmen. On Monday last, the first residential course in management for steel bandsmen began. The course is intended to acquaint the steel bandsmen with the general features, institutions and practices of the local business environment. To assess steel bandsmen to identify the special nature of the business relationships which should characterize the steel band as an artistic, commercial and industrial enterprise. To impart to steel bandsmen the basic principles governing business organization and practice and to develop in steel bandsmen an awareness of the role of law and legal sanctions in commercial and industrial activity with special reference to contracts, agreements and contractual obligations. On behalf of the staff of the personnel department I extend a sincere welcome to you all to this brief but significant formal ceremony for the launching of an introductory course in business administration for members of the steel band movement. Without in any way wishing to be invidious, may I on behalf of the staff of the Central Training Unit of the Personnel Department specially welcome you, Mr. Prime Minister, and the members of the steel band movement to this center each for different reasons, of course. This training center, situated in the scenic environment of the historic Northwestern Peninsula, was opened by you, Mr. Prime Minister, according to the records of my department on May 20th, 1968. I'm very glad that Mr. Cupid has indicated to the members of the steel band movement the scope, objectives, and operation of the Central Training Unit. I think Mr. Augustus of the Steel Band Association and his colleagues will now understand why it was that I insisted when we were discussing the question of implementing this principal resolution of the Steel Band Consultation, this resolution that comes from the Steel Band Movement itself about the course of training that I insisted that it should be done here at the Central Training Unit and that we must stop this idea into which a lot of people outside of the Training Unit are drifting. That the training facilities and requirements of one group of people are something and for another group of people it's something else and that is reflected in different locations. At all levels you have lack of training, inefficiency in management, the requirements are the same even though the jobs might be different. And above all, the mentality with which the different groups approach the question is the same. So we bring you up here. And if it's too hard for you, it shows you how far you have to go up. Is that clear? You come down here where everybody else comes. And I do hope, Mr. Augustus, that after all the noise you made about this course, we'd have 
a dedication from the steel band movement in respect of this training course, such as we associate with their sessions of music when they're playing for carnival, when they're playing for panorama. You can't have dedication in one field and then something else. If we could only get, as I said repeatedly, the sort of attitude that the population as a whole has to the entire carnival celebration, if you could have that throughout the year, Trinidad would be the, and Tobago would be the richest country in the world. There is your chance. glad to see you down here and as you all know if it hadn't been for your insistence that this should have been after carnival you'd have been down here before so if we had to wait all this time before the class it's at your insistence we'll follow with very great interest what you're doing here as you know it's one of four courses for this year 30 each next one I understand is the first of July and I want you all to understand that behind what Mr. Cupid has said lies the, the expertise, the organization, governmental organization, which makes this unit possible. The particular course that you are going in for now, which to translate your ideas into what you require, would involve business environment, business organization, elements of business practice and methods, practices and methods, business law relating particularly as far as the steel bandsmen are concerned, the question of contracts and contractual arrangements. And development of a model business unit as a group project, our entire idea that's going through various levels of the steel band movement of small business, whether it's a cooperative, two or three steel band units have asked for the possibility of taking over the pavilion by the zoo to run it as a cooperative. Before you go into that, you should have some ideas about what is involved. I hope you have read it, but I would like to emphasize for you here to this morning the purpose of the course. It's there in your program. Number one, to acquaint steel bandsmen with the general features, institutions, and practices of the local including, if relevant, regional, that is to say, West Indian, character, business environment. Number two, to assist steel band, to identi steel bandsmen to identify the special nature of the business relationships which should characterize this steel band as an artistic, commercial, or industrial enterprise. I, for example, have heard a lot. Some of you are here when I went round to the steel band movement about the question of a sponsor not keeping to his side of the contract. Uh, I think Mr. Augusta said that has been separately discussed out of the steel band consultation. I would like to tell you what I found more disturbing. I'm not sure if the group is among the steel bands here. Sponsors complaining that the steel band is not performing its side of the country. One notorious case has been very, very embarrassing to the government as a whole because the sponsor was a government corporation. Number three, 
to impart to steel bands men the basic principles governing business organization and practices. And number four, to develop in steel bands men an awareness of the role of law and legal sanctions in commercial and industrial activity with special reference to contracts, agreements, and contractual obligations. My impression about this course, I'm looking at the syllabus of the course, I got that it's a very good course in the interest of Pan Men. So that Pan Men will really approach the course in the course of business administration in the right perspective. Um, for a few days I'm here, we are seeing um, a lot about, we are getting to know a lot about business. Right? We had a field survey and this proved very um, exciting and you meet several people and where you got different opinions of things. I think um, in the next few weeks, we will be able to um, be better businessmen, I believe, after this course. Well, the course, it is a very great, it is a, what I would say, a, something that this steel band man could learn as much as he could to, about business, because steel band is a business. And I think that um, after this course, we will be able to go back to our bands, our various bands, and also Pan and Bagel, and try to make steel band men better off in Trinidad and Tobago. I could learn a lot because this is only the third day. Um, I say the third day because this is morning time, really, for those who are looking in. And we've been out two days on survey. That is Tuesday and Wednesday. Monday was the, you know, day you come in and get to know the tutors and all this sort of thing. And we've been out meeting other people. I mean, the business sector managers, um, divisional managers, um, engineers and all these sort of people to know what business is like, to know what you got to expect in business. Um, right here, I know I like to say to the people who have been helpful, um, who we didn't have to tell or show any identification, to know what it is. At one time, I went to IDC and I heard a person who came in to see the manager had to be coming there two weeks and wasn't privileged to see him. I wasn't privileged really to see him, but I saw one or two people who was a, mm, let's say, great help. I hope that their help would sort of, you know, help me along the lines uh, of the business management course, which is say, provided to the steel band men so that when they go back to their respective band, they will be able to impart the knowledge. And in so doing, um, set up a business that might be of interest financially to the band, so that not only when carnival, and you've got to wait till next carnival, or when you get a chance to play out, so that you could make something. I think all in all, it's a wonderful experience. Um, it's meeting steel band men too, who you have not been in contact with. Um, togetherness, you know, you sit down after you recap what you do, the, the only thing is, um, this course should be 24 hours a day course because there's so much to do. I've learned so much in so little time and there's still a lot. I don't know. I hope when it's finished, I'll be able, as I said earlier on, to go back to my respective band. And I hope each individual representative will be able to do the same. In some way, um, this course has been a help to each individual still band. band. So that we are happy to see you here and to welcome, as you agreed at the convention, at the consultation, representatives of all the different zones into which you have divided the country for steel band purposes, including the zone of Tobago, plus the executives from the Tobago Association and the association in Trinidad. We hope that you will be comfortable down at the Tembladora. We try to make keep people together at the course because a lot of discussion will go on after the formal class session. And it is useful to bring Tobago together with Karani and Karani together with Point Fortes, St. Patrick's, and so on. As we proceed to work on the other numerous lines of investigation and activity arising out of the steel band consultation, we are glad to welcome here this morning to the Central Training Unit the first of the courses for 1973 in 
steel band business and management. Welcome all of you from your different bands and we hope that you will set an example not only to the other steel bandsmen that will follow you but undoubtedly to the other groups like yourselves in the community which will be calling on the government for assistance in the form of training if only as a preparation for the many small businesses that we had hoped to see operating in due course.